Hi! Oh my god. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Right now we're in a very weird location because I'm in an Airbnb and I have to check out in 20 minutes actually. But I am on vacation and I'm in Crete, Greece and it's my first time on this island and it's such a great island. I really have to come back. First, I wanted to thank you for the love you saw to my last video. The last video was the exams vlog. I was vlogging my whole month going through exams. It was a very hard video to edit because first I kept like having flashbacks for the exams which is not great and second it was so long because I was filming for like 20 days straight so at the moment I'm on vacation I've been trying to reply to your messages on Instagram and on, in your comments but there are so many thank you so much we also reached 3,000 subscribers which is crazy I know that for like the YouTube standards 3,000 3, is nothing but I think I think I don't even know 3,000 people in my whole life, so that's crazy to me. I wanted to make this video an extra ETH video. Before I start editing and uploading my travel vlogs, I will be so busy this semester, which means more ETH content. But <laughs> so this video actually is tips and tricks for ETH freshmen. I've just been doing my bachelor's, so ETH bachelor's freshmen. Some of these might be very obvious to you, but I didn't know about them at first. Welcome to ETH guys and let's get into the video. <laughs> My first tip is the Edu app. I'm sure you will hear about this app in your first lecture, but it would be great just to know about it firsthand. So the Edu app is the ETH app and a lot of professors use it for click a fragen, like click your questions. They ask a question in class and you can reply to the question through this app. But this app has so many more things. First, it has the campus map, which I'm sure you will need in the first semester for sure. I still look on the map some, sometimes because I don't know where a building is or I don't know where a room is in the main building because the main building is symmetric and I can never tell on which side the rooms are. So you, I use a campus map on the Edu app all the time. Also, when you sign up on your courses, your schedule will be on this app. And another thing that's very important, the link shuttle bus, the timetable of the shuttle bus is also on this app. So you really need this app. Number two is you can like slide out the printer drawer and take paper. And also usually next to the printers, there's extra paper in case the printer runs out of paper, 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 you can refill the paper. So I usually take paper from there. I'm not really sure if I'm allowed to, but that's what I've been doing. I take notes on my iPad, but I solve my exercises on paper. And then I put all of these exercises in a big folder. And yeah, <laughs> next thing for saving money is don't buy the books. Just don't buy the books. The only books I've used my first year analysis books. Every prof will give you in the literature what books you will need. They will suggest you books. At first I thought we need these books, but usually the material they provide you with, like the, the script of the professor and the exercises and everything they provide you with is enough. Also, sometimes the books, you can find them online and the PDF format and you can download them. So please save your money and don't spend like 80 francs on a book that you will open up like once or twice. Also, if you know older students, maybe ask them about books. Some students have books that they don't use anymore, maybe they can sell them to you or like give them to you for the year. That's also recycling, which is good for the planet. And there's a website where people sell their old books. You can find used books in a much better price and yeah, just don't buy your books new. Trust me, most of the time you don't need them. If the professor tells you that you need the book, then get the book obviously, but in my experience, I barely use the books. And let's go to the scripts. Most of the professors will provide you with the script they have written. It's usually the material of the lecture that you go through in much more detail in the script. And that's basically what you have to study for 
your classes, the scripts and I didn't know this at first but you can bind your scripts in the ETH bookstore and this costs 5 francs and you can bind your scripts with like the rings I don't know how it's called but yeah you can basically bind your scripts if you bind your scripts in the ETH bookstore ask for the card for the bindings because every time you bind one of your scripts you get a stamp and at the end when you reach a certain amount of stamps and things like 10 or 12 you get a free binding a friend of mine told me that you can bind your script somewhere on the Hungerbird campus for free I will try to find out more about this and I will let you know <laughs> one of my favorite things food I don't know why I hadn't found out about this earlier but basically in the polymenza the menza of the ETH school cafeteria of the ETH you can get a free refill or I think how many refills you want so basically you buy your food usually one portion of food costs 540 and when you're done with your food you can get a free refill just bring back your plate and they will refill it usually if it, the food is something like pasta and meat they will just put pasta and no meat but yeah you get the point you can get a free refill in the Eteha Menza Polymenza and last one for my mechanical engineers and electrical engineers Amif beer and Amif coffee. The student association of the mechanical and the electrical engineers is called Amif. I think I've already talked about this in a video. Basically, you have access to Amif and to every trips parties, anything that Amif organizes, but what I want to talk to you about today, I'm sure you will hear about it in your first week of ETHs, but Amif beer and Amif coffee, you have to sign up your leggy, your student card to the Amif website, I don't remember how I did that, it's been three years, but if you ask someone at Amif, they can show you how to fry salten your card, and then you can scan your card on a vending machine and you can get one free beer per day and one free coffee capsule a day and for that you will need to bring your own mug I hope this video was a bit informative for you guys because I really feel that some of these points are very obvious and you will for sure hear about it in the first week but some of these things it took me a while to figure them out so I thought it would be great just to put them in a video and give it to you guys right before you start your studies at the ETH good luck with your studies have fun I hope I hope this semester is gonna be better than the last one because of COVID and yeah, I might see you around. So yeah, bye guys.